Gaffer, it's about as heartbreaking as it gets, I would imagine. Can you sort your thoughts for us this evening? Yeah, heartbreaking is a, a good way of putting it. I thought the, the players were absolutely fantastic tonight. I thought the supporters were. I thought it was brilliant. Oh, for 93 minutes, a brilliant night inside Valley Parade. Um, and unfortunately, right at the end there, um, yeah, just, it's just gone against us. We've, uh, you know, they, they managed to get possession in the middle of the pitch. And they, they, the shot they hit took a deflection um, into the bottom corner. But for the rest of the game, we were completely dominant and um, and really good. But we just couldn't find that um, golden touch in front of goal. Um, we tried, we tried really hard and created numerous opportunities. And um, keepers made some really good saves. Um, we've been a little bit wasteful on a couple of others. Um, but as a general performance, I, ca I can't say anything negatively about my players apart from one lapse of concentration and a little bit of luck that went against us. But um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a kick in the balls. So no no most mistake about that. Disappointment, yes, but how proud are you of the players tonight? We seem to do everything but score, and like we say, football's a cruel game and it punishes you right at the end. Yeah, look, I, I'm proud of the team because um, we've been hit hard with losing players, you know, uh, before games, um, during games like tonight, and uh, but whoever stepped in has, has risen to the occasion, risen to the level that the, the team wants to perform at. Um, and it's, it's everyone that watched that game will, will be saying the same things. Even the most ardent Wickham support would understand that um, they maybe got away with one. But um, well, that's how football is. You got to hang in there sometimes in a fight and and, and, and keep uh, keep plugging away, which they obviously did, and uh, they've got their reward right at the end. But certainly from my perspective, looking at my team, I could, honestly, apart from scoring the goal, I couldn't ask any, anything more of them. They were absolutely superb. Not just the sort of heart and the character and the battling, but you know, you look at the pitch today. A lot of people would probably have presumed that it might have been a bit of a dog fight, was yeah. dragging them into a pretty gritty, dogged performance. Yeah. But some of the stuff we played, the, the chances we created, and the way that we attacked the League One opposition, yeah. fantastic at times, really, wasn't it? Yeah, um, that's, I think every credit to the players. You know, we we, we, we had um, good players out there and, and mo mobility. We had um, pace. We had, we had a really assertiveness in, in possession and real confidence. And, and like you say, against a, a good League One team, and, and by, by far we were the better team. But um, you know, we've shown that on other other occasions. You know, we've shown it at Derby in this competition as well. And how we've played in in this competition, we we feel we deserve to be in the final, but we're not. You know, we we, we have to get our heads around that really quickly because what we can't let is the, this massive disappointment affect anything that we've got going forward. We have to use it as fuel. It, it's hurting, it's hurting everybody because it was we, we were so close to to um, having the opportunity of doing something special. Um, but there's still opportunities there this season, and we have to make sure that we are determined to make sure that we um, go into the summer with a smile on our faces. We haven't got one tonight. We can't do. We, we're, we're in a results-based business. We came here to win. We wanted to win. We did everything we could to win. Um, it's gone against us, but we have to make sure that um, come Saturday. We are ready to um, to show that sort of level of performance again. There's a day less to prepare for it. We're back in action pretty much straight away. How much can we use this raw disappointment, this heartbreak, to fuel us, like you say, not just for Saturday but for the remainder of the campaign? Well, I, I think we did that um, in my what, second game against Notts County when we were four 0 down at half time, live on Sky. You know, really hurting, really hurting. And we turned it around to have a fantastic run after that. And since that, um, since that sort of game, we, we've, we've uh, previous tonight we'd lost three in 19, you know, and won a lot of games. So these players have it within them to show um, great character, great personality. They've shown it tonight. Uh, we'll have to show it again on Saturday because um, um, their games come thick and fast. No one, no one outside of Bradford is going to feel sorry for us. So we can't let ourselves to feel sorry for ourselves. We have to make sure we're determined to use it as fuel. Whatever you can, whatever negative comes along your way in, in life, in football, you have to try and turn it into a positive um, and, and not be a victim. And we have to make sure we're not victims.